Just in relation to the 326 hubs that have been mapped out, this is really welcome because obviously things are progressing fairly quickly and that's very, very welcome. Is the detail in relation to the locations mapped out, is that published or when will it be published? And if there is expected to be 100 hubs by year end, when will the detail of the location of them hubs be known, you know, just for local communities and for workers so they can perhaps plan, uh, I'd imagine hopefully this year, uh, workers will be going back to the office or maybe be making a decision how they will uh, work in relation to doing it remotely two or three times a week or whatever way they do it. And just in relation to the hubs that have been mapped out, are any of them on our islands? And lastly, can the Minister provide an update on the use of pubs, rural pubs or other buildings? Has there been continued engagement uh, in relation to the use of pubs in particular? Gurramahagat. Deputy Alan Dillon. Thanks very much, Laskin Kola. And um, I want to thank the Minister for her tremendous work in the uh, rollout of the remote working strategy. And we do need to maximise the opportunity and the momentum that presents itself uh, to rural Ireland in, in making a remote working network a reality. Um, and also, Minister, I want to thank you uh, and certainly welcome your allocation of €5 million Euros last month for the development of, the, of Ireland's national hub network. This funding certainly will go a long way uh, to putting in place the infrastructure to build on the rollout of the national broadband plan. Remote workers require a lot more than greater infrastructure just uh, alongside the, um, the high-speed broadband. And some people are very happy with the options of hot desking, but uh, with shared uh, multiple users, but others require a more dedicated uh, private setting uh, and office space. And I'm talking about those who want to remain long-term as remote workers. And I do welcome uh, your initiative in this space. Um, well, just in answer to the question that was raised, uh, we have uh, we have the, the the mapped out these hubs, and uh, we'll have 100 by the end of the year, and uh, possibly more. But. Um, I, I will be announce, announcing them next week and just to, to say to uh, Deputy Dillon that I look forward to vi visiting Mayo next Monday uh, and uh, to, to launch uh, the National Hub Network in Swinford where I'll also be officially opening the new Swinford Digital West Hub and I'm delighted that my department has been able to support uh, the development of that hub under our Rural Regeneration Fund and it has seen an 18th century courthouse refurbished into a hub. Uh, so not alone is it supporting remote working and enabling people to work locally in the West, it's also giving an old building a, a new 21st century use. In terms of uh, Deputy Koran, only a few weeks ago I was delighted to virtually attend and officially launch the Roscommon BCP network and as part of that I also officially thank launched you, the new digital th th um, you, hub Minister. in Tulsk. Th thank you Minister. Deputy Koran. Um, um, and I just wonder, Minister, just in relation to the, the hubs that have been mapped out, just if you can come back on whether or not uh, the islands and remote working hubs uh, have been identified on the islands off the coast. And also just in relation to the use of pubs in particular, because I know this was a big part of the Rural Action Plan and just if there's been continued engagement in relation to that. Thanks very much. Uh and I'm delighted to hear that the Minister is visiting Mayo next Monday and I think this is evidence that government is delivering to rural Ireland and that we see these digital hubs uh, being established uh, in Swinford and I know it's a fantastic project and it'll be a huge benefit to the town and the community and also I want, want to make reference to the Western Development Commission who have done amazing work throughout the Atlantic Economic Corridor in mapping the remote working hubs available and just in relation to Deputy Coran's point Clare Island actually has a broadband connection point I had the pleasure of actually visiting that and they have you know a number of remote workers who can actually work you know, in a really professional manner within the community centre um, and not have to travel long distances or commutes uh, across to the mainland. So that's, you know, fantastic news for the, for the islanders uh, and also for, for, for rural Ireland and for West Mayo. And I look forward to the Minister uh, next Monday uh, on, the, um, on the rollout and the, um, you know, the Swinford visit. Thank you. Minister, to conclude.
Thank you, Las Cancola. Uh, yeah, uh, as, as uh, Deputy Dillon has said, we have uh, the, 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 the remote working hubs on the island as well. And when I launch it on Monday, I'll be outlining all the details uh, of, uh, of the hubs that have, have joined the network. But what we wanted to do was we wanted to get a full um, detailed mapping exercise and we funded uh, the Western Development Commission to do that, uh, to identify where all the hubs are and then we'll be able to see where there are any gaps and we can sort of work, work on that as well. But there's 100 have signed up to the network. So the network means that you can get on that, you can log in, uh, go onto a website. If I need a, if I need a, a space in, in, in a particular part of the country, I can book the desk, I can book it for half a day, a full day, or I can maybe book it for a week. So I was thinking to myself, when we're going down the wild Atlantic way, you'll be able to maybe spend half the day working if it suits, and maybe the other half of the day uh, at leisure activities. So yeah. it really thank, is thank, about getting that balance there thank, where people can, can work remotely thank, thank you, and Minister. to do so in a place that is safe. And I really thank, think that this is the game changer that we all need for rural Ireland. Thank, thank you, Minister.